people wouldn't know about? I speak fluent Weber. I'm really good at turning dead animals into really good food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're a grill master. I like to think so. Very good. There are some people that agree with me. Okay. Well, along with food, then you need music. What's, who's your favorite musician? Oh, that's a toughie because there's about a hundred of them that qualify. But, uh, so, you know, everything from Lyle Lovett to Jimi Hendrix. But today I think Jim, uh, Janis Joplin is going to take the top seat there. All right. Yay, Janis. Um, favorite vacation spot? My backyard. That's a good one. And it's super close. It is. Yeah. And very affordable. What's the, the thing you're probably most proud of for having achieved or created? Well, in terms of achievement, I, I like to think that I have a really great family. And I know that's a bit sentimental, but it is. Um, I have a, a wife that seems to love me in spite of all this for over 40 years. Uh, we have a really great son who's one of the smartest and most creative people I've ever met. And we have a daughter that we sort of adopted a long time ago and became part of our family. And now her family is also part of our family. And I'm very happy about that. In terms of professional uh, creation, uh, I'm most proud of the book. I, I think I, uh, it kicked my ass for three years. It was a difficult, challenging task. I got a lot of help from a lot of people. But I'm very proud of the result. And I think I did a really good job. And I'm quite proud of that. The, the tool company has been just a steady, long, slog. It's one step in front of the other all the way and they've never and there's you know ups and downs and all of that and I'm very proud of it by all means. But there's never any one big moment. But this was indeed a brief, intense um, achievement. Uh, how about the last book you read or reading? Um, I recently read uh, um, Grunt by Mary Roach. I finished Michael Connolly's The Burning Room and I'm currently reading The Wright Brothers by David McCullough. Nice. Eclectic. I think so. Very good. Uh, when you were young, what did you want to be? An artist. What happened to that concept? I had to make a living. Yeah, that sucks. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> well, there are worse ways to do it than that which happened to me. So that's good. a good thing. Yeah. Uh, is there um, some piece of art or something that someone else has done that you are particularly appreciative of? The Golden Gate Bridge. <sighs> good. It's my favorite man-made thing. What draws you to it? I don't know. I, that's an intangible. But every time I see it and get to the, the, uh, the privilege of driving over it, I'm thrilled by that particular piece of man-made thing. Very cool. Uh, how about your favorite wood? O1 tool steel. That's not a wood. Sorry. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my medium. <laughs> okay. Good enough. Good enough. How about a most influential teacher, mentor? I, I have three people that I uh, put in that category. Uh, the first one being my father. Uh, he was a good entrepreneur and a good designer and a good uh, sort of seat of the pants engineer. And I, I know that I resemble him in many ways. I look at my hands sometimes and I see his hands. Wow. We're, we're very similar people. Um, also, uh, James Krenoff. I would, uh, there is no question whatsoever that I would not be doing what I do today if it were not for Jim Krenoff and the program here in Fort Bragg. So I'm eternally grateful for that, for that contact. Um, also, I had an, uh, a teacher in uh, graduate school and, and uh, undergraduate school named Tony DeLapp, who's a fairly well-known artist in Southern California. Uh, he was uh, perhaps my favorite uh, mentor and sort of lifestyle teacher. We became very good friends. Cool. Last question. What goal do you still need to achieve in life? I would like to learn Tai Chi.